An order of service for noonday, Wednesday, June 30th, 2021. Believing that God made and loves the world, we gather. That it may be reshaped to fulfill God's purpose, we pray. To seek wisdom deeper than our own thinking, we listen. To honor God who gives us voice, we worship. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 119, 17 through 24. Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I might see the wonders of your law. I am a stranger here on earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed at all times with longing for your judgment. You have rebuked the insolent. Cursed are they who stray from your commandments. Turn from me shame and rebuke for I have kept your decrees. Even through rulers sit and plot against me, I will meditate on your statutes. For your decrees are my delight and they are my counselors. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. Then he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a pit for the wine press and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the season came, he sent the slave to the tenants to collect from them his share of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him and beat him and sent him away empty handed. And again, he sent another slave to him. This one they beat over the head and insulted. Then he sent another and that one they killed. And so it was with many others, some they beat and others they killed. He is still other, one other, a beloved son. Finally, he sent him to them saying, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the heir, come, let us kill him and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come in and destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read the scripture? The stone that the builders rejected has become this cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. When they realized that he had told the parable against them, they wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowd. So they left him and went away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This week, the church remembers Polly Murray, priest, 1985. Polly Murray was an American early and committed civil rights activist and the first African-American women priest ordained in the Episcopal Church. Born in Baltimore in 1910, Murray was raised in Durham, North Carolina and graduated from Hunter College in 1933. After seeking admission to graduate school at the University of North Carolina in 1938, she was denied entry due to her race. She went on to graduate from Howard University Law School in 1944. While a student at Howard, she participated in sit-in demonstrations that challenged racial segregation in drugstores and cafeterias in Washington, D.C. Denied admission to Harvard University for an advanced law degree because of her gender, 
Marie received her Master's of Law from the University of California, Berkeley in 1945. In 1948, the Women's Division of Christian Service of Methodist Church hired Murray to compile information about segregation laws in the South. Her research led to a 1951 book, States, Laws, and Race and Color, which became the foundational document for Thorogood Marshall in his work on the divisive Supreme Court decision Brown versus Board of Education in 1954. Committed to dismantling barriers of race, Murray saw the civil rights and women's movements as intertwined and believed that black women had a vested interest in the women's movement. In recent years, scholars have brought to light Murray's complex sexual and gender identity, including her attempts to access testosterone therapy as early as 1930. In later life, she discerned a call to ordained ministries and began studying at General Theological Seminary in 1973. She was ordained as a deacon in June 1976, and on January 8, 1977, she was ordained as a priest at Washington National Cathedral. Murray served at Church of the Atonement in Washington, D.C. from 1979 to 1981, and at Holy Nativity Church in Baltimore until her death in 1985. Murray's books include the family memoir, P Proud Shoes, Story of an American Family, and the personal memoir, Songs of the Weary Throat, An American Pilgrimage. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Liberating God, we thank you for the steadfast courage of your servant, Polly Murray, who fought long and well. Unshackle us from the chains of prejudice and fear so that we may show forth your reconciling love and true freedom, which you reveal through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Christ of the poor and the yearning, kindle within our hearts a flame of love for our neighbors, for our foes, for our friends, for our kindred of all. From the humble things that lie up to the name that is highest of all, kindle within our hearts a flame of love. God, in kindness, hear our prayer. By your love celebrated in your word, seen in your son, brought near by your spirit, take for us what we need to carry no longer, so that we may be free again to choose to serve you and be served by each other. God, in kindness, hear our prayer. May the heart of God, ever filled with costly love, cherish us deeply, mending any brokenness and affirming our worth and the worth of our neighbors. God, in kindness, hear our prayer. In this, our gathered community through the generations and the years, God has heard and answered our prayer. Let us share with God in silence or out loud, trusting that God listens. Glory to God who created us to Christ who rules over the earth, to the spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever, amen. Now we depart for rest and nourishment. May God go with us. May Christ be our companion. 
May the Spirit enliven us, and may we know God's presence today and every day. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.